Okay, in the previous lecture, I have already explained to you about the theory behind the Newton method to find the optimum solution for a function with one or more than one variable. And the theory was main, mainly designed for a function with one variable. And But keep in mind that the idea could be extended for the multivariable case. So in this uh, uh, lecture, I will give you some example to demonstrate to you how to solve the optimum so for the optimum solution using Newton method. More detail on this topic, you can figure, you can find it from the uh, that website, mathforcollege.com. You're free to share this information under a certain restriction or condition you see on the screen. Okay, let me give you a numerical example to demonstrate how to use the Newton method to find out the optimum solution. If you remember my previous lecture, our objective, let's say, is trying to figure out the maximum area for the gutter. Okay? And that gutter, it have the dimension, let's say the base is equal to 2 and the length of the 2 edge is also equal to 2 for each one. The only thing, the only variable that we can play around with is the angle theta. So the question become, well, I can figure out the area of the gutter, which you can see on as the shaded area on the screen. That is basically is the area of the trapezoid. And from the geometry, as I told you before, you can calculate the area of the trapezoid easily in terms of the angle theta, because the area of the trapezoid is just simply equal to the summation of the two parallel side and multiply with the perpendicular distance h between them. And if you use that kind of a formula for that kind of a data, you will see that the area of the trapezoid of the gutter is given by the formula you see on the screen. So now the question becomes find the angle theta so that it will maximize the cross-sectional area of the gutter. Now please remember, for this same example, we have already solved this example using the golden search section method. But now we want to use the Newton method, okay, to solve this problem. So let's see what happening to the next slide. All right, let me erase the board first and go on to the next line. Let me if you go to the next slide, again you can see the function f that you want to maximize is given as 4 psi theta uh, time 1 plus cos theta. And it may be easier if you replace the product of psi theta time cos psi of theta is one half of psi of two theta. That way you can find out the derivative f prime easier. But either way, either you can express in terms of the double angle I just explained to you, or you just use the original function, you should be able to figure out the derivative f prime, which is given by the second formula that you see on the screen. Okay? And then, once you know the first derivative f prime, you can take the derivative one more time, and you will figure out the second derivative, f double prime. Okay, according to the newton raphson formula, it requires you to provide the initial estimate of the solution, which is theta in this case. So, for this example, we assume that 
the initial estimate of the solution, the angle theta 0, is equal to 45 degree, which is the same thing as pi over 4 radian, or 0 0.7854 radian. That is the initial guess. Then, after that, you just apply the newton Raphson formula that I developed for you in the earlier chapter. In case you forgot, let me give you the formula. Basically, the formula say x at iteration i plus 1 is equal to x at the previous iteration i minus the first derivative of the function small f that you want to optimize evaluated at the current solution xi divided by the second derivative of the small function f that you want to optimize evaluated at the location xi. So that is a formula. Well, let's say i represent the iteration number. So suppose you are talking about i equal to 0, i equal to 0. So x0 represent the initial guess, which play the same role as theta 0 in this case. And then xi plus 1 will play the same role as theta 1. And then the first derivative f prime evaluate at the initial guess is just equal to this first derivative right here and then you evaluate it at the initial guess which is at theta 0 equal to pi over 4 you know so basically so this is theta 1, this is theta 0, the initial guess, minus this part right here represent the first derivative f prime at the initial guess. And then you have to divide that by the denominator, which is right here. That denominator represents the second derivative of f prime evaluated at the initial guess theta zero. So when you plug in all the numerical value, you will see theta one is equal to one point zero four six six. So that means when you initial guess theta zero, it will help you to figure out theta one. Now you repeat the full procedure, assuming you know theta 1 already, you just calculate it, you can figure out theta 2, and so on, so on, so on, until convert. Okay? So, when you figure out theta 1 equal to 1.0466, the function at that initial guess is 5.196151. So that is the situation at iteration number one. Then, maybe on the next few slides, we just keep doing for few more iterations and see what happened to the Newton method. Let's see what happened, all right? So let me erase the board a little bit so that way it will be clearer. All right, let me erase. Okay, let's see. So let's move on to the next slide. So the next slide will be here. So now at iteration 2, we repeat the same procedure. We say the theta 2 can be computed based on theta 1 that you just calculated in the iteration 1. S subtract 
subtract. The first derivative, which is f prime, evaluated at theta one, and then divide by the second derivative evaluated at theta one. So knowing theta one, I can use the same Newton Raphson formula. I can calculate that theta two. So you can see from the summary given in the table. In the beginning, iteration one, let's say in the beginning, you estimate the initial solution is theta is this much. Then you can figure out the first derivative evaluated at your initial estimation. And that first derivative turned out to be, let's say, 2.8284. You can also calculate the second derivative corresponding to the initial estimate, which is like theta equal to 0 0.7854. And that will give you the second derivative. Once you know the first derivative, the second derivative, and the previous estimate, you can find out the next estimation of theta. And corresponding to the next estimation, you also figure out the function value. And then the next iteration, which is iteration number two. And now your current estimation is 0 1.0466 that you got it from the previous iteration. You can figure out the first derivative again at the current value, which is 1.04. You can find out the second derivative at the current value for theta. Then you find out the next estimation. And as you can see, only after five iteration, you can see very clearly the first derivative at theta equal to 1.0472. That first derivative is equal to a very small value, as you can see, 1.3322 times 10 raised to the power minus 15. This number is almost zero. And please remember, when you see the first derivative equal to zero, that is an indication that optimum solution is already converged. Because when the first derivative equal to zero, that will give you the necessary condition for conversion. So that's why you stop right here. And keep in mind that the exact solution supposed to be uh, 1.0472 radian, which is essentially the same thing as you got in the newton raphson after only five iterations. Now, at this point, I want to remind you that in the golden section, that search method that we saw for the same problem, it took a lot more iteration than five like we have in the Newton method case. Okay? So this table give you a very detail what is going on when you apply Newton Raphson method repeatedly from the initial guess until you obtain the convergent solution. And uh, let's see what else do we have to say or that's the end, actually, of my uh, newton raphson example to find out the optimum solution for the function with one variable. Acknowledgement. More information you can find out over there at the website. Thank you.